Well, tell us a little bit about, you know, when you have a number of different people, um, obviously being able to communicate in a way that makes sense um, is something that's important. One of the things that we talked about before was the different, the four types of communication styles and just kind of how you go through that. Walk us through that a little bit so that I think that's a really good, I've heard it before in other areas, but I liked how you kind of walk through it. Walk us through that a little bit so that we can get a feel for the communication styles and how you kind of think about it. Well, you know, I, I learned this when my kids were just super little and I really use that to help my kids through school and through learning. And so learning styles really can be a huge asset for your business if you can really identify different people's learning styles. So right. obviously the first one is the kinesthetic learner. And a kinesthetic learner is the heart of your business. You know, they're the ones with the big heart. They're the ones with the big feels. Um, you know, take a, a kinesthetic child. They want to sit beside you. They want to sit close to you. They want you to show them, take their hands and show them. And, you know, they want to sit on your knee and they want to watch. And a, and a kinesthetic adult, they need you to take the time to show them how the business works. Otherwise, they won't be able to succeed. So, Interesting. so kinesthetic learners really key to your business. They love hard and they stay because once they've got that connection to you, they're there. Then you look at, then you look at your digital learner. I love digital learners because they're your compensation plan experts. They know the comp plan in and out, but a kinesthetic learner, uh, let's take a female for example. If you, if she's a kinesthetic learner, you open up her purse, it's organized. Her wallet is, she knows where every credit card and driver's license is, and she's super, super organized for, for a digital learner to be successful. They need the facts and the figures. So okay. when somebody reaches out to you to join your business or your interviewing someone to join your business, um, for them to make that well-informed decision, they need the facts, the figures, the numbers, the compensation plan. How do I get from here to here? Okay. Very, very important people. Okay. Then you take your auditory learner. So your auditory learner, again, a little bit different. They're the ones that love to jump on all the Zooms. Um, they, you know, they really need to hear it for it to make sense but they don't want you to send them a ton of material to read. Okay. They really need to speak to you. But okay. then you've got your visual learner, your fourth one, your fourth learner here. And the visual learners, they like the graphs, the charts, uh, pictures, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they like lives, you know, those sorts of things. So really and truly in the success in this industry, that's, when you really can master those learning styles. And if you, lay, if you take your team and you take even your top 20% in your downline and you try and identify what learning style they are, you, your business will grow faster.